specialty are the champions of England. Might be his last game for the club, I have to be honest. Good morning, XBAM! Welcome back for the final episode of RB London this season. Today is episode 45, and uh, it, it, it might just be the last episode of RB London. I don't know. Uh, I, I want to see you guys in the comments if you want one more last season of RB London. We'll do a short season in terms of episodes. I'm kind of down for ending on 50 episodes. That sounds like a good plan. It's uh, It's been the best run of rb it, it's it's been the best run of a youtube series that i've ever done in my life and i'm very thankful and i honestly think i might continue the save like on stream as a little side project um and just literally finish 15 seasons because this is my favorite career of all time in today's episode it is a season finale and we're going to there are a lot of games remaining and we're going to keep it a little bit short so we first of all have a semi-final against Tottenham. Maybe we'll get through, maybe not. If we don't, then I'll maybe just show the end game against United and we have another game against... It's quite a lot of Tottenham. There's a high probability of a lot of Tottenham games and a lot of United games to end the season. Because in the other semi-final of the Europa League, we have United against Lyon. And I have to be honest, I'm kind of favoring United to get through. So the way we, the way we're gonna style this is I'm gonna cut the game cut the games like very short, not as detailed highlights. The the highlights are gonna be shorter than usual. First of all, we have the f home game against uh, Tottenham, the the first semi final leg. I'm going to sim it only because there's so much remaining of the season. And I'm trying to cram so many games into the final episode it, it's a lot all right and and personally i don't have time to play all these games right now because i'm studying school there's a lot to do we're gonna quick sim the game this is the team that's gonna play it's basically our starting team except for one fact oko is in there and it's supposed to be holgate dodge stays in the team because we like him all right quick sim first game against tottenham holy f holy f no 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 okay i'm right we lose through oh Oh, that hurt. Okay. Also, the Premier League. We uh, I simmed one game before starting this recording. It was a game against Brighton. We won that 2-0. Things are looking good in the league. We're, uh, we're third right now. I don't think we're going to win the league. Never say never, though. But my main priority is that top four. We're going to have to play our backup team because we have to go... Well, not very far. It's still in London. But we have to beat Tottenham. We are down bad. Also, I've started scouting players from india so i also sent a scout to iceland and we also sent one to england all right heavy rotations for this game against newcastle it's not a great team but can he get the dub he can throw oh my god what a crucial goal for martin in the 90th minute brewster got a goal and martin got two okay impressed count me as impressed all right, it's time for our first game of today's episode that we actually play. And it is a way to Tottenham. We're 3-1 down on aggregate. Yeah, okay. This is going to be a game. Proper, proper game. Adiemi is going to start as a striker. He has been in incredible form lately. And the plan is Brewster is going to come on a little bit later. And he's going to have fresh legs to do his best to tear up that tear up that Tottenham defense. We've got to attack. We've got to attack like there is absolutely no tomorrow. We will. So for this maybe final Europa League game, possibly, Rory Gavin takes the uh, armband because I'm not sure. This might just be, might, might be the last season. Maybe we'll do one more, but Rory Gavin, he's the captain. I want to make him captain. I, I, some people might not like it. Some people might say it's not realistic. I just, I love him. I, I actually love the kid. Absolutely everything to play for. This is going to be incredible. And uh, no matter if we decide if if it's time for one more season of RB London or no matter what, just so you guys know, I am planning to upload like a recap episode where I, I'm going to I'm gonna compile some of the greatest moments. But here we go. The Tottenham Hotspur lineup. It's Hugo Lloris. Okay, actually, let's see it properly. Sessegnon Stones. Uh, um, okay. The front four are all on yellow cards. Helmi Son Kane and Petro Concalves. I saw, didn't he play for Sporting? Wait, what happened? Is that maybe not Petro Concalves? I'm not sure. It might not be. I'm not sure, but here we go. RB London. This is your RB London lineup. I just, I generally just, what a team. What a team. Brewster dropped. Adiemi preferred. I love this team. Nah, we got to do one more season. We've got to do one more season. Here we go. 3-1 down again. 
against Tottenham. No, this is some Deacon Galvez. Yeah, I knew Pedro was still playing for Sporting. Oh, Gunduzi does that well. Now there's Adiemi. Oh, that... Oh, wait. Oh, my God. That was almost really good. Oh, it's into the box. Mason. Emmy keeps it in play. Emmy. Emmy Torres. He's got no one in the box with him. He's going to go to the byline, cut it back. Oh, he does. They scramble it out, but hey, it's a... Wait, hold up. Curtis. Rory. Oh, what a save. Great start. Come on, then. Sessegnon run, runs down the left. It's a brilliant cross. Costa, he grabs it. And now we look towards the counter-attack. The classic RB London counter-attack. Andy Emi with his incredible pace. Tries to swap the plate. That is a really good ball. It falls to Emmy. Emmy, he's still got it. Oh my God. <laughs> what an effort. 25 minutes in and we're testing this Tottenham defense. Two goals. I think we can do it. This might just be one hell of a game. It's well closed down by Tottenham. Rory Gavin, he finds out the Emmy. Rory back on the run on his right foot. It's not good enough. Ever, this might be a very long highlight because this might be a proper, proper game here. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That is good. Brian, can you cut it back? We'll take a corner. Right, ref? This is why we play Adiemi in today's game. Oh, yes. Adiemi, this is your... That is his specialty. 35 minutes in and we have opened Tottenham wide open. Honestly, they have not been at the, for at the front here in this game. Adiemi, he's just so good at that. He is so, so good at that. When he just drives it across goal... Oh my, Adiemi, he is getting into some incredible form right now. What a player. No keeper in the world is even coming close to that. Adiemi picks up his first goal. Brilliant. Come on. Still losing, but remember, away goals don't count anymore. So it doesn't matter. We just need one, and then we are into extra time. Loses the ball, and here is a counterattacking possibility. Is it possibly Adiemi one more time? No. Oh, Sonny. He has got pace, even though he's getting a bit old. Harry Kane tries to get go back to Sonny. Gone Daisy. And somehow, RB London play it out from the back. It's halftime. We're winning 1-0, but still losing overall. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I don't know. I believe I can still win this game. We can still win this game. I still believe. And if Manchester United win their game... What a fitting final game. Because Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, as you remember, we have a beef. And he is uh, he's still the uh, United manager in this save. Curtis Jones, he loses the ball. Here comes Harry Kane. That is a really good ball. Trevo. Oh, my God. That is brilliant, Trevo. Oh, my God. Tottenham. They cut it back. It's into the... No! I don't know. If, I don't even know who Deacon Calves is, but oh, I did as I. You can see I did as much as physically, humanly possible to try to stop it. Oh, it's not a good finish, and it just somehow sneaks into the sneaks into the net. Oh, just and we're back to a two-goal disadvantage. Now we have to give it everything. Two goals behind a four-two. That's a foul. That's a foul. He's going to miss the final even. Even if, if Tottenham make it, Diogo Concalves is his name. I have to be an idiot right now to actually Google this guy. Yep, he, he's, he's a real person. I, I, I had no idea who this is. Diogo Antonio Copilo Concalves. What a name. He actually looks kind of fun. I might buy him in some save in the future. 30 minutes to go. And I'm going to go for a ballsy move here. Ladies and gentlemen, with 30 minutes to go, I am developing the stupidest plan ever. I proudly present my tactic called the mirror. It is as defensive as it is attacking. We have a CDM, a, there's no central midfielder. There's a center attacking and a center defensive. One midfielder is in charge of 
one midfielder is in charge of going forward, the other one is in charge of holding the defensive line. The wing backs are designed to go over and around. The wingers, they come inside, help the strikers. So essentially, we're playing with four strikers, a creative midfielder, and two wingers that go outside. Maybe this might be the stupidest thing I've ever done. But sometimes in life, you just gotta take a risk. If we lose, then we lose. But we lose with our head held high and know that we actually gave it our all. Also, on set pieces, we're loading the box. So the whole plan is just take yellow cards. If you need to foul them, foul them. We are going to overload. That's a foul. Come on. We're gonna overload their defense. We're gonna make them panic. It's a free kick. I don't know who takes it. Kareem Adiemi is on it. He's got decent stats, but I sort of want to give it to Rory Govan because I am a Rory Govan fun boy. Come on. Oh, it's on the top. That is a good effort, Rory. That is a really, really good effort. Oh, how close was that? Just a little bit too much power. There's the manager trying to show him how it's done question is can we defend oh this might have been stupid oh god we need three goals in 20 minutes i brought on another striker <laughs> this is oh i may have just i may have ruined everything by not having a center mid but i brought on matthew hop and we are now playing with all three strikers he's playing as a target man he's gonna get in there and hopefully do something here's brewster we have fresh legs up top now and in abundance. The idea is to use his height and hopefully win some headers. It hasn't worked this season. Why should it work in the semifinal of the Europa League? I'm not sure. Oh, 20 minutes to go and we need three. It's not over. Rory. Oh. Corner. Come on, Rory. 15 minutes to go. Rory Gavin, we need a big, big corner now. Come on. Ball into the box. Antiemi wins it. Hey, oh, we have a chance. Antiemi wins it. Two goals, 15 minutes. Come on. Oh my God. There is a there is a chance. There is a lifeline. Now we need to attack. They launch it in. Mason doesn't win. It falls to skip. Oh, the defense. Is, the, the, the defense is falling apart here. What am I doing? I've got to be honest. Every fiber in my being wants to just replay the match. He's missed it. Every fiber in my being just wants to replay the match to create a better storyline, but I can't. I just can't. I like that's not me. I've kept it real. And the the truth is that I fucked up. No, you're kidding. I uh, I messed up. Shouldn't have done that change. I went too hard. Sonny makes it 7-3. That's, de uh, that's depressing. And it's Hung Min Son. It's over, ladies and gentlemen. RB London have been knocked out in the semifinals of the Europa League. If if I could have picked... I mean, if I had if I had to choose how to exit the Europa League, I'd probably pick a final... Like, lose in the final. Because then I would have been like, yeah, we at least made it all the way. We were just unlucky. But the fact is that Tottenham were just better. They have more experience in, in Europe, fun funnily enough. Oh, I, real, I really, really thought we could do it here in the 76th minute when Auntie Emmy scored, but then I lost my head. Uh, well, I, I could just tell you for a fact, ladies and gentlemen, that this is not going to be the last game of RB London. This is not the last episode. We're going further. We're going to keep it going. I don't care if the views are dropping on the episodes. I can't end the story like this. This is not the way we should end uh, the Rory Gavin storyline. I'm genuinely in like a really, really upset mood right now. So we have four games rem uh, remaining in the league. And now with a super tired squad, we have to play Wolves. I mean, theoretically, we can still win the league. Theoretically. If we win our games in hand, we go top of the league. But let's be honest, we still have to play Tottenham again away from home. We have to play with Wolves two days after just the craziest schedule ever. We have two days off and then we play Villa. And then we have three days off and then we play Tottenham. And then we'll have a week to recover for this United game that we end. As long as we guarantee the top four, uh, I'll be fine. I'm actually going to play this game, but I'm basically just going to show you very, very abbreviated highlights of the game because this is a really important game and we have to play with uh, our backup team. I'm so 
upset, dude. Well, there's literally nothing to comment on. This was the shittest game of all time. We had about a billion shots and they scored this. Sick. So we lost 1-0 and I have never been as tilted in my entire existence. So I've decided to play the game against Villa. Um, this is a very, very crucial game for us to uh, basically confirm our top four spot. If we drop points here, it's going to go down to the wire. We need to win this game. And we have games against United and Tottenham. But if we win this, um, we might be in a pretty good uh, situation here. Like, it just... Everything fell apart. I am uh, so disappointed. Really? Ay, ay, ay. Uh, it is what it is, I guess. But here we go. Live from the Stanley Stadium, ladies and gentlemen. Team is going through a bit of a blip at the moment. Marit Kergard. I forgot to show you guys the starting lineup, but basically it is... It's the classic back four. Hold up. Rory, go on. Oh, wait. No. Oh. It's the classic back four with Gwendezi and uh, Kergard. And Rory Gavin, of course, captaining through the middle. Then we have up front, Adiemi Brewster. And Brian Hill. Adiemi has to play on the right. Brewster uh, through the middle. And Daisy. Just to find Adiemi in the middle. He does. But Adiemi with a strong, strong touch. Speaking of a bad touch. Jesus Christ. Of course, James Justin has just been phenomenal this season. Oh, here comes up. Villa. Oh, my God. Onto the box. Tiogo saves us again. Might actually just open up a brilliant counterattack here. Wow, that is a shocking tackle. That's got to be a yellow card. You know what, Kierkegaard? Do it. <laughs> yeah. This might be his last game for the club. I have to be honest. Halftime, it's nil-nil. Um, not a lot to report on. I got to be honest. The mood around the club is just so uh, demoralizing at the moment. Oh, uh, it's Leon Bailey. What a save. James Justin. Power in that. Hold up. Counter-attack possibilities here. Rian. He's given... What? What is that run, Brian? Need you to get in the box. All right, we're going with a corner. Crosses it in. Ah, Diemi's in there. He can't actually get it, but it falls back to Rory. Goes past one. So it's going to be another yellow card for Villa. They're tackling like crazy. They're playing a hard, hard game here. Not making it easy. Oh, this is beautiful. Kergard. Oh, of all people, I did not want it to fall to Kergard, man. Brian whips it in. Rian Brewster! Yes! That's the moment we've been waiting for. It's been very, very dull. Finally, we get a wide open opportunity. And it's Rian Brewster from the corner. Solid. Very, very solid. Oh, what a run from Rory. <sighs> Went for the spectacular. Honestly, would have been the goal of all time. The best goal of all time. The best goal I'd ever seen. We're leading 1-0. If it would have been 0-0, I would have tried something different, but... Oh, it's into the space. Diogo, good save. It's offside anyway. 15 minutes to go. We're going to make uh, some changes. Kergard is coming off in his final game for the club. Bernabe goes on the left wing. And uh, James Kane is going to get a run out. I've accepted a loan offer for James Kane, by the way, from Norwich for next season. One year away. I think, uh, I think that is the move for him, to be honest. Brewster. He finds Brian. Brian. He finds R Rory Gavin. Jesus. So I am such a Rory Gavin biased person. I have to be honest. Well done from RB London. Oh, such a good play. The shot is blocked. And here come Villa on the counterattack. We've got to be careful here. Oh, no. Keeper. Yes, Joe Gold as well. Can better not keep it in play? No, he can't. Three minutes of added time. This is uh, very well might be confirming our spot in the Champions League for next season. This is a massive victory for RB London. What a season we've had. Or wait, it's not over. Here come Villa. Last chance. They cross it in. James Kane, of all people, clears that. Game over. It's three points against Villa. And now we have to see what turns out. What, what's going to happen? Let's check out the league.
So we are actually uh, four points ahead of Arsenal with two games remaining. That's six points available. That means we need, well, Arsenal need to drop points or we need to get one more win. And then that's it. That's it. We're, we've made it through. I don't think I'm going to play another game in today's episode. We're going to uh, uh, we're gonna field a better team here than that. It's a 2-2 draw against Tottenham. Nico Williams and Antti Emi with the goals. We'll take that. And that is not it, actually. So, uh, yeah, this is not the last episode of RB London ever. We are going to play next season. Uh, this is the last game of the season. I'm going to sim it against United, who are 13th in the league, having a shocking season. We beat them 2-1. It's Antti Emi and Hop. Hop actually getting a goal, fair play. Yeah, United have a shocking season. They end, them in the, they end in the bottom half. So that is it. Wolves are the champions of England. And RB London in their second season in the Premier League end with 73 points. What an incredible season. Wolves in first, City, London. Okay, you, you, RB London, you could just read it. Looking at this, it's very interesting. You see that Chelsea came 11th, United 13th. And the relegated three are going to be Burnley, Brighton, and Birmingham City. The Europa League final is going to be Tottenham against Lyon, actually. Champions League final, it's going to be Real Chelsea. How? And the Conference League final is going to be AC Milan against Arsenal. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Uh, but that's going to be it, ladies and gentlemen. We uh, we appreciate it. Let's actually take a look at one thing. Uh, no, we don't have a top goal scorer. Brewster came close with 19 goals. He's four goals away. Fair play. But this is very interesting. Rory Gavin, most assist. He's the assist king. What a legend. He is going to be the captain for next season. I don't care what anybody says. He is my captain. Um, and let's take a quick look at the stats of all the players from this season. The mo from Sorting from the most uh, appearances. There's Kareem Adeyemi with phenomenal season. A plus four. Picking up 25 goals with nine assists. Very, very solid. Rory Gavin didn't score as much this season. But did pick up a tw whopping 20 assists. Very, very solid. Plus four for him. I think next season is going to be his best yet. Finally, the injury thing is just a, a thing of the past. And we can move on. Rian Brewster, these three, th these are uh, these are the key to RB London. We just can't get rid of them. Uh, Rian Brewster only gets a plus one this season, but does pick up 29 goals. And at one point was just absolutely unstoppable. Uh, and as we scroll through, Emi Torres picking up a nice 10 goals. Very solid for him. And, you know, interesting, Isak Bergman picks up 37 games, picked up as a rotational player, actually ends up playing more than Curtis. Gunduzi comes in, plays 17 games, not too shabby. Matthew Hopp, 12 games, 4 goals. I honestly am bitterly disappointed with him. Whenever I've used him in-game, he's been very, very bad. So he might get loaned out, I'm not sure. Maurits Kergaard, unfortunately... It all ends here. You just weren't solid enough. So here you go. Quick run through if you are interested. I am going to run through our uh, low knees, actually. Uh, James Cannon plus three. Cajal Don plus four. He's going to be interesting next season. He might be somebody that we could use instead of uh, instead of Kiergaard. Billy Cometio plus two. Patrick didn't increase at all. Jordan Hecarty plus one. That's disappointing. Marco Moya plus three. Okay. Uh, Michael Graham, a plus two. Seven. Okay, solid. Oh my god. Tanner Campbell gets a plus 11. And now he is looking solid for next season. Uh, Kucho, nothing happens for him. Martin Lang play, picks up a plus three. And Alfonso Rey a plus two. Jo uh, John Tolkien, who has been on loan for the last two years at Brighton, picks up nine games this season. And uh, was very, very shocking. I think that's going to come to the end of John Tolkien. For us, we might get rid of them. Or we probably will. So yeah, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching season four of RB London. Uh, I'll see you guys next season. Five more episodes. Thank you so much for watching. If you didn't make it to the end, I want to see you guys comment season five. Just season five. That's all I want to see. Thank you so much for watching. Shout out to the uh, the members. We we do have two. I don't say only anymore. We do have two members, those that do support the channel. It's very, very appreciative. I thank you very much. Shout out, shout out to Zizio and uh, Funboy, uh, aka Fun Afraid. I appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. See you guys in the next one. Have a beautiful day and peace.